Hello, Erica here. I'm back for part three, which is the final installment of my birthday book haul. Um, these are kind of my collectible special hardback editions that I either ask for as gifts or purchase myself to add to my beautiful collection. Um, there are five books that have not arrived yet because they're coming from Book Depository, which of course takes like a month and a half to get to me, always. But I'll haul them either in a separate video or just in my next haul. I'm not going to show you pictures of them because I don't think it's going to really do them any justice. And I want to have them in my hands. So without further ado, firstly I got six of the Penguin Cloth Bound editions, which are all stunning. I've actually read all of these books, but for one reason or another I wanted them in these gorgeous editions. Either because of sentimental value or because I didn't already own a physical copy and it was a good excuse to get a really nice physical copy. So, you know, very materialistic of me, but what can you do? So the first one I have is Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I read this last year, I think. Maybe the year before. I don't really remember. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. And at first I wasn't going to get this edition because the red and the green kind of put me off a little bit. But I... In person, I ended up really liking it, and I think that it is really nice and goes well with the story inside. So I have that. Of course, there's a built-in bookmark. I don't, I mean, you know what these look like, right? I just have to hold them up. Great. Next, I got a very beloved book of mine, which I don't talk about often enough, and it's because I haven't had a copy of this for a while. I used to have the mass market paperback of Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. And I don't know if you've seen the mass market paperback that I'm talking about, but of the unabridged edition, the mass market paperback is like this tall. It's like this wide, and the font is minuscule. It's terrible. It's not good for your eyeballs. Don't do it. You'll damage your eyes. So I had to have... I've been waiting. I've been trying to decide what edition I wanted. I have read this. So I read the abridged version once when I was in high school. I have since read the unabridged version twice. I love this story so much. It's so good. If you haven't read it yet, please do. Uh, I have to talk about this in one of my classics videos soon. Now that I have a copy, so it's on my brain a little bit more. Anyway, absolutely stunning. I love the birds. Birds are great. I always thought from seeing this in people's videos that it was black and red. It's actually like a really dark navy in red. I don't know if you can tell, because I never could tell. But, you know, vision problems, so <laughs> that could be why. Anyway, I have that one. Next, I was given Anna Karenina, another book that I really love. I really need to reread, too, and I'm so happy to have this edition to reread it in. Um, again, gorgeous, the dark gray with pink on it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I also got perhaps the prettiest, in my opinion, of the uh, Penguin Cloth Bounds, and that is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Um, again, I own this, but in kind of a crappy edition. I just, I love this book so much. I think that the design of this book is absolutely beautiful. I love the black and white. I love the peacocky feathers. I just, oh my god, it's so, so pretty. And then I got Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Super thrilled. I had the saddest, most beat up mass market paperback of this book. And now I have this gorgeous cloth bound. Um, I love this one. It's really, really pretty. So I'm very excited to have that. And lastly, I'm super excited to finally have a really gorgeous edition of one of my favorite books of all times, time, which is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Um, this is stunning. Very much like The Picture of Dorian Gray. I think they're my two favorites right now that I have. Um, really beautiful. I have a Norton Critical Edition of this book, which I will not be getting rid of because I think Norton Critical Editions are really well done. They have so much added to the text. The edition I have even has some of her poetry in it, and so I won't be getting rid of that, but I will also be having this gorgeous edition. And then lastly, I only have two more books to show you. So I got a gift card to Barnes & Noble. Really bizarre. I hadn't been to a Barnes & Noble in like two years, and now I've been twice in the last two months. Anyway, I have nothing against Barnes & Noble. I just, the independent bookstore is closer to my house than Barnes & Noble, so it makes no sense for me to go there. Um, so I already owned this really gorgeous Barnes & Noble leather-bound deluxe edition of the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, which I don't think I've shown on my channel very much at all. Um, it's really, really beautiful. It's shiny. It's cloth-bound, or leather-bound, rather. It has gold ends. 
It has a built-in bookmark. It has the most stunning end papers I've ever seen. Maybe ever. I mean, it's really, it's beautiful. It has illustrations throughout, but some of them, not all of them, are full color. So just a really nice collection. I've probably read half of the fairy tales in this. I haven't finished them yet, but I knew as soon as I got the Barnes & Noble gift card what I was going to get with that gift card, and that is um, the Hans Christian Andersen version. More or less the same. Um, this one's purple, though. It's, again, really stunning. I mean, these are gorgeous next to each other. Look at that. So beautiful. And look, are you ready for this? Oh, you're ready for this. Look at those end papers. Look at them. I mean, <laughs> hello. Look, it's so gorgeous. So I have that. And then these editions were buy one, get one half off because I went there on Memorial Day. And so I also had to get um, Fairy Tales from Around the World by Andrew Lang, which I've had my eye on for quite a while. This one's a little bit different in the way that it's laid out than the other two. The other two match kind of exactly. This one's a little bit different. But equally, if not even more gorgeous, look at that. Um, again, shiny. Again, it has a bookmark. And look at the back. I mean, it's so pretty, I can't even handle it. The only downside about this one, this is the only one that I haven't been able to find any full color illustrations in. The other two have full color illustrations. This one does not, but that's okay. Um, it still does have gorgeous end papers, and they look so pretty when you put them all together. So I am so excited to have gorgeous, gorgeous editions of classic fairy tales for me to peruse at my leisure. These are not the kind of books that I will sit down and like read in a sitting, but every once in a while I'll read a couple of fairy tales. So. I'm so thrilled. And that's the end of my birthday book haul. I really hope you all enjoyed this. Again, if you've read any of these books or have anything to say about any of them, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!